You are not God. That's the title of this week's devotions. And you might be thinking, well, Ty, I know I'm not God. But what we maybe don't realize is how often we make ourselves God in situations that we face in our lives. And one of the ways we do that is with worry. Every time you choose to worry, you are essentially making yourself your own God. And so I want us to really look at worry this week and challenge it and deal with it and understand when we are worrying. One of the ways that you can evaluate if you are worrying and if you are a warrior, essentially making yourself your own God, is to look closely at this acronym called you Lord, you L-O-R-D. And as the acronym says, when you worry, you are making yourself Lord Almighty. We don't want to do that. So let's look at the U in this acronym, U Lord. U stands for uncertainty. The research around anxiety and worry tells us that those who worry a lot don't tolerate uncertainty very well. In fact, the literature says that warriors would rather know a negative than to be uncertain about something. They would rather be sure about a negative or certain about a negative than to be unsure about the future. That's pretty hectic. Now, uncertainty is not something that we can avoid. Uncertainty is just the way life is. And yet, when we choose to worry, we are trying to get rid of uncertainty. We're trying to go into the future and try to make it certain through our worrying. And I want to read something to you about how God thinks about this uncertainty thing. Listen to this in Luke 1, 18 to 24. Now, what's happening here is the angel Gabriel is visiting Zacharias and he says to Zacharias that he's going to have a baby. Even though he's so old, he is going to have a baby. And Zacharias says this, he says, um, how will I be certain of this? So the angel says to him, you're going to have a baby. And he says, how will I be certain of this? In other words, give me certainty. Don't let me tolerate this uncertainty. And listen to the angel's response. The angel says, listen carefully. I am Gabriel. I stand and minister in the very presence of God. And I have been sent by him to speak to you and bring you this good news. You will be continually silent and unable to speak until the day when these things take place. That's God's attitude to someone who cannot tolerate uncertainty. He's going to keep you quiet. He's going to say, shush, close your mouth if you can't tolerate uncertainty. But whatever you do, don't worry. Now, what's interesting is this angel had a very similar message to Mary. And in Luke 1, 36 to 38, this is Mary's response to uncertainty to not knowing how something's going to happen. And listen to how Mary responds. She says, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. This is one of the ways we deal with uncertainty. The word is certain. We say, this will happen to me according to your word. And that's how we start to reject and tolerate uncertainty because we have certainty in the words God has given us about our future and about the situation we are worrying about. So this week, and especially today, be tolerant of uncertainty by placing your faith in the certain word of God. Remember, you're highly favored and you're deeply loved.